I went to Harvard Divinity School in the late 1970s, and I thought I'd get into the clergy business, but the clergy, they thought otherwise. They were right. Things have worked out on all sides of that ill-conceived notion, though. Am I coming in the right place? Yeah. Still, God's mysteries are as mysterious when they work out as when they don't. And so I was counseled out of the divinity part of things, and I'd no plan B at all. I'm eight weeks into my career, and I'm missing the soul of it all. On the snare, he's doing that, that, uh, yeah. you know, back, 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 back. Take a sip, take a sip, boss. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little walk. Okay. Everybody ready?
that altar of stones, which is the ending of days. A blessed and a windswept choreography for endings. That's this first verse. I want to linger over it in case the chance doesn't come again. So I suppose I'm going to take a little walk. I love the scale, the quiet of the thing. When though, when I'm stuck in the terror-filled streets and not been able to do it or anything else over and over and over. Oh. No, he says, it's a little field. Now I'm a farmer and that means something to me. Oh. A field, that's everything I could think of, everything I couldn't, all in one place. Oh. I'm gonna take a little walk through this field which is the ending of my days. And what do you do there? Well, this is what he proposes. He'll carry himself gently. Why though? Because life's so hard? That's not why. It's because there are times when the healing of the heart doesn't come from inactivity. It comes from being on the receiving end of some other kind of grace. One that you'd never consider never want I'm gonna carry me gently so my heart can heal which would not be a bad way to die not at all and of all that could come next it's this I'm gonna find me a demon and where in a dark dark wood and don't forget where you've been what's a field what's a dark dark wood where one ends begins when the clear cutting quits that proper darkness remains they belong together that's where you are and of all things to seek there at the ending of your days a demon a field and a wood and an angel and a demon angels carry welcome news but demons carry news too unsettling kind, the kind that you don't seek, that you're not ready for. Tonight, well tonight we could suspend that old understanding, that terrible distance that's grown between them, and know how alive we are. And that's why I love that lyric, gonna find me a demon in a dark, dark wood when it's my time to die. In a case that's not love letter enough for still being alive he sends one to whoever hears this song a strange kind of sorrow freighted mysterious thing you're allowed there at the ending of your days to wish somebody could come with you completely allowed now let's go further it's mandatory that you don't walk that walk by yourself maybe Maybe you shouldn't have to, but you probably will. And they're both true, they're both there, and you don't have to choose between them. You could wish somebody comes with you, and you can know the rest of the story. They won't, they can't. You can't come with me, he says. Still, I wish you could. And if that isn't a love song, never heard one but having heard that one I believe I've heard them all
tape goes away. Let's go from the top, please. <sighs> All right, here it comes. Thank you. Summoned or not, they say, the gods will be present. Maybe. It's got to be bad manners. It's bound to be bad luck. Nobody knows. So, welcome friends. For friends we may soon be. Friends are forged on that dark road. The one that's heading out of town. And you know it now, like you always have. We're headed there. We are gathered now, you perchance before your old ones, and we perhaps before ours. How shall we be? What shall we say? Thank you, Charlie. Click, Lisa. This is uh, Shadow, take one.
Helps, no? Just greases the joints. No, it's a fine, fine. Yeah. Okay, are we all good? So good. Uh, Charlie Rollins? Rolling. 
Why do you like this one? Colleen, much more relaxed now, eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning it. Should I wait for you to come in, too? For now as an orphan. Uh, if you haven't been. I don't no? think you have been, yeah. Okay. This, this one What's the riff you're doing? The, the, the same one. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun. How do you scratch your ear with this shit in there? Oh, I see. <laughs> Just work your jaw. Everybody good? Yeah. You gotta give me the... I'll give you that, yeah. Unless you got too much. Yeah, Go on. Let me just take a bead. Let's hope for this. Okay. One. Hey. What time is it? Well, it's the Anthropocene, baby. That's what they're calling it. That means that we're the center of it all. And that means that we got our spirit prints on everything. And that means that wherever we go, there we are. We can't get away from us. That's what time it is. You know there are kids on your news feed. They are on the steps of your city hall. And they are at your UN. You have stolen our future. That's what they're saying. You understand it. You understand, don't you? That they're pretty sure that nobody else knows that the sky is falling. Just them. And it's turning them inside out. Be prepared to stop. That's what the sign said. Didn't happen though. So the sign's gonna have to change. Be prepared to be stopped. We haven't got it right. And that's what made their world. We're their fate. That's how it seems. Now, if you are over 45, you grew up with the idea that almost anything's possible. It was in the air. If you could picture it, you could do it. Everything's possible still, maybe. But most of those things, they're not likely now. That's how it is. We're going through it. The kids will not submit to the scrutiny of their seniors anymore. You wanna get a whiff of it all? You're gonna have to try this. No more sitting across from them, making them the object of your inquiry. Just another moral problem for you to solve. You're gonna have to move that chair until you are 45 degrees from them. And you will not see them directly or clearly anymore. But you might begin to see them truly. Look off into the middle distance now and see if you can see the world that they see not to see if you can see things their way it's not them not anymore it's what they're seeing you'll be floored by how much it will take how much courage to see it just to let it in young people they're another country. That's what time it is. figure that something's been stolen from them. What they could have been, what they could have had, what they could have done. The whole world that could have been the world that they imagine that we had. Look, it's hard to argue, all except for that future part, because that
that's not as true as it sounds. It's understandable, but it isn't so. They never had the future. They figure we stole from them. It wasn't there before they were born. We don't have it either. Nobody does. You hear the teeth clenching. You can hear the teeth gnashing. Because that's one of the things that the kids are doing with their present. They are burnt and they are blistered by the goneness of a future that they never had. If we've stolen anything from them, well, maybe, maybe it's their now. Because now's the thing that nobody wants anymore. It's too messed up. Now, it's an orphan. And each day, the kids are going along with that. Not protesting it so much. Talking with an earth rights guy, and he's doing God's work. And we're talking about what's coming down that pipe, the near future. So, this is what I said. Well, here's the thing, man. The starting point now is just too late for a lot of things. That has to be the starting point. You can see the inertia, right? The incremental five year plans, the government's opting in opting out in the same year. It's not bad enough. That's the meter. Now you work your ass off in the meantime, yeah? I'll do the same. But bad enough. That's probably what you're gonna have to wait for now. It's gonna have to get worse. That'll be the sign. This is what he said. Demonstrate the capacity 
finally no hope left. As when you try to leave a scent in the air of what some people did in a time of trouble like this. Because the people to come, they're gonna need that. They're gonna need to know that they come from people who were worthy of coming.
like in terms of the, uh, the difference between digging in like we were yesterday and then kind of being a little yeah. softer with it. It was the last pass was great. I just am check, thinking check. about. To be, how come can you, Gregory? Can you check uh, the leases? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any uh, effects. Main channels, make sure they use Sorry, them. what are we doing? Right we're now. doing theme white line again. Oh, yeah. yeah. What I just did. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. No, you were great. You're great. Let's do it again. Yeah. Right. Don't change a thing. Don't change a thing. Just, but again, though. Yeah. But right. just a little, a little bit. But, but do what you do. I want to yeah. stuff Just like you did. Exactly the same. Exactly the same, but better. I just felt like I got no, not, I got nothing else. All right. All right. Count it in again, please, for me. To your dreams, you counted up the losses, and know that you failed them. But dreams can be replaced. Apologize to the rules, bear them down from their crosses, to which you nailed them, and send them on their way. Safe and sound to be free at last. The seekers want, the masters have. But it's last, not found, and that cup is passed. When the seekers want, the masters. Slaves just want what the masters have And nothing more The bad stays bad You want the palace keys You want the launch codes You'll ride the same steeds The four horsemen rode How about still you make your pledges to their crown Sing the anthems to the phantoms of freedom While your house burns down I can hear you pray Just like the masters do The same God, the same way Yeah, they're praying to For their souls to keep For their righteous path You best not wish but weep what the masters have To be safe and sound To be free at last The faithful one The masters have But it's last and I found And that cup is passed When the faithful one The masters
own sweet way. I got a right to my sun, my morning, my own news feed, my own private warning. I got a right to expect to live, or not, to what I feel, to what I got. I got a right to my high octane tropical beverage of choice, my noise, my voice. I got a right to dress with no mind for the weather, whatever. I got a right to a sunny day with no hell to pay. I got a right to my high fructose right to disbelieve in anybody's right, to disbelieve in my low fiber right to disbelieve. I got a right not to know what that means or what it does or what it was. I got a right to the low hanging fruit, the aboriginal root, the subatomic shoot of this flabby democracy, to fame so resolute, to a night of disrepute, or the hair of the dog, or the eye of the newt. I got a right to a four-wheel life, a four-wheel wife. I got a right to self-designate, self-actuate, self-pollinate, and propagate. I got a right to a self on a silver platter. I matter. I got a right to walk out my door and keep on walking because of a thin white church that stands somewhere in the fairy lake clear cut of my true self-believing self. I got a right to walk out my door, turn the key, ease out into my self-made day, overstay my stay, my own sweet way, with no hell to pay. But now, I got a sign on the road ahead. Prepared to stop or be stopped instead. Is that what it said? I got traffic, no green, no red. I might believe it. I got a right hand side. I got a thin white line. I got a lot of speed. I don't have much time. No ties that bind. The left behind. There's a car coming on. I hope she believes in right hand sides. White lines and something more than her this time. I got a car ahead. I guess I want it said. I hope she wants to be living more than she wants to be. Thank you.